you put that ad on, it'd be on it for him. <laughs> but actually, Montana doesn't really, not a lot of run water. Um, first of all, I want to start this interview with a very important question. Would you say hi to my grandma out there? Hi, Grandma Pataki. How are you? Aren't you proud? Second, would you wish Alyssa a happy birthday? It's her birthday today. She turned 24. Alyssa, Alyssa, happy birthday. 24, really? My communications director just turned 24. Less than half my age. I know, I know, I know. I just, yeah, it's a terrible thing. Way to make her feel like her career ambitions haven't been fulfilled yet. find parking downtown? Yeah, it's gotten to that point. <laughs> um, in your six years as mayor, what are some of the achievements you're most proud of? Well, my number one achievement, the thing I'm most proud of, is being on the Dan Patan show. <laughs> which isn't good, but it's about half of the rate of the rest of the country. So, I hate to keep on harping on this, but it's, it's a sign of time. What are some of the challenges, like budget and during this recession, trying to keep the balance of the keeping services good? Wow. I don't know why I'm asking this question. <laughs> but what, what, what are some of the like, just sort of challenges of budgeting during the recession? Well, I, you know, obviously I think the, the biggest thing is making sure that, uh, you know, I've got a few bucks left over so I can buy a beer here at the Dan Patane <laughs> Show. It's the main thing I'm interested in. Um, you know, I, it's just, it's like, it's like everybody else. I'm going to come back a little bit and try to make sure that the basic services are, are maintained. But uh, frankly, I don't know how we're going to get through this budget. I mean, we're looking at a budget deficit next year of like 10 to $15 million. So, I'm gonna ask Bridget's on the council. You, Bridget, figure it out, will you? I got a, I'm golfing Friday. And I got a couple things Saturday, Sunday. Monday morning, if you could have some answers for me, I really appreciate it. I got this show I gotta do, so thanks. You are, you, much, you are much better at this than I am. <laughs> but you should seriously consider doing this once a week. And I think I told you, show, give up the mayor thing. Yeah. Well, you'd be surprised how many people are urging me to do this. <laughs> 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 
Nice. <laughs> so what are some of your major goals ahead for 2009-2010? Obviously, uh, 2010, once again, appear at the Damn Tanky Show. That's got to be number one. <laughs> It's, it's, it's not damn Tanky, it's damn Tacky. You know, it's a little annoying when somebody mispronounces your last name. You know, I, I wouldn't know, that's never happened. Now, this isn't as great as you know, being on a David Letterman show or, or Dave Fennel, but still, it's pretty good. Now, you've been on, on Fox News. Who's a tougher interviewer? Oh, God. Me well, or, or them? Bill O'Reilly? Um, I'd say you much, much tougher. Um, for one thing, you know a thing or two. You know, so. I mean, it's not like you just make stuff up like Fox News. I actually do research when I'm at the public library. Um, now, you organize something called the New Cities Project. And that's where you get a bunch of mayors from different, like, cities all together. Is that really just so you can brag about Madison? <laughs> no, actually, it's a, it's a spinoff. The U.S. Conference of Mayors is a big organization, like, you know, 600, 700 cities. And, and I go, I went to the first one, and all the mayors were slapping each other on the back and drinking cocktails and saying, you're, no, you're great, no, you're great. And I got a little tired of that, so I formed this group of sort of nerdy, policy-wonky mayors. We're sort of like, you know, like mayors who didn't get invited to the prom. <laughs> and, um, you know, we sit around and talk about tax on developmental financing and stuff like that. And, um, and then go, uh, go home after a couple of days. So you don't great. stay at the conference indefinitely. No, nope. no, nope. go home. <laughs> so, go to bed early. it doesn't seem like it considering this weekend. But summer is right around the corner. What are some of your favorite Madison summer activities? Uh, you know, the, the sort of typical Madison stuff. I like to bike, I run a little bit. I'm gonna try, who's running the Madison Marathon? Have you run the Madison Marathon? Oh, come on, somebody's gotta be running. <laughs> these, are, uh, these are people who are on their fourth race at the same time. We call that protein. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to run the Madison half marathon, just a half marathon. Oh, only a half marathon marathon. Boy, surprised. I mean, this is this, this is a this is a city of like iron people, you know, a you know, whole iron thing. So when I in most crowds, when I say oh, I'm running the half marathon, it's kind of like, oh, so you're riding a bike with training wheels? Oh, good deal, you know. So I'm really impressed that you're impressed. 